Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosler here for today's video. It's going to be a quick one uh, regarding how to set up a very simple key binding in order to be able to put your Linux computer into a suspend state uh, using only one key. Suspend is very, very useful. It, unlike turning off your computer, it's going to save what's on your screen or screens and uh, you can boot out of it or get out of it by just typically moving your mouse or keyboard. Uh, it uses a fraction of the electricity that you would use if the computer is running. So if you're away from your computer for a few hours and you wanna keep everything in place, uh, Suspend is really useful. So two parts to this tutorial, it's not gonna be super complicated. First package you're going to need is something called Power Management Utils. So uh, the command here, I'm not gonna actually run it because it's installed on my computer. sudo apt get install, and it's pm hyphen ut. And if you don't already know this, you can use the tab function on Ubuntu to uh, fill in packages. So P-M-U-T-I-L-S, utils is short for utility, and then install that. So as you can see, I'm already running the newest version of this package, which is 1.4.1-19. That's part one is installing this package. The second part is creating a key binding. Now I am using LXDE. This is actually a pretty new install uh, of this computer. And I've just bookmarked um, the dot config folder. It's at home, your username forward slash dot config. And this is where you're gonna find the configuration uh, files for a lot of stuff on your desktop. Now, if you jump down here to O, just after OBS, I have open box. And within that folder, there is a single file. It's called LXDE hyphen RC decimal XML. So I'm gonna open this in a really, really simple code editor. I'm actually just gonna use mouse pad uh, for this example here today and you're going to see the key bindings on open box now i add a couple and just to skip through this document a bit i'm just going to search for the keyword custom until i get to this so this is my custom key bindings the key bindings i'm just highlighting here in blue on my screen and the one for uh, executing the command is grav now there's a little command you can use called XEV. I'm just gonna jump into it from a new tab uh, here. XEX, Ray Echo uh, Victor. And XEV is a little utility that you can type in a key. I'm currently pressing S and you're going to find details about uh, its key code, right? So if you're not sure what a how to look up the key code for a particular key on your keyboard, you can just type into this little box and it's gonna give that to you. So I'm gonna go ahead and just close it down now. So grav is what I personally use, but you might find another key. You can see I'm also using, sorry, I'm actually using scroll lock for suspend. I'm using grav for X screensaver. So key bind, key bind key equals, and then you have the key name, action name equals execute. And this is where you can, you can assign a terminal command to pressing that key. It just needs to be uh, buffered in by command and end command and it's simply sudo pm suspend. pm suspend is one of the calls you get when you install the pm utils package. So now all I need to do on this desktop computer is type is hit the scroll lock key and it's going to get me into suspend. Clearly if you use scroll lock uh, on a regular basis you, you're not going to want to assign it as a key binding because this is actually going to overwrite the shortcuts on any program you have on your desktop. Perhaps there is another key, perhaps you have a macro keyboard and you've got a few keys spare for these key bindings. So just do something that you're not going to require in any program that you're using. I've traditionally used scroll lock for suspend and it works great. So I just need to press suspend, as, sorry, scroll lock and it suspends the computer. And then I just, when I'm back at my computer, I just move the mouse or press a key and it brings it straight back up. Hope that uh, you that how-to video on uh, getting a custom key binding for suspending your Linux computer was useful. If you want to get more videos about Linux technology and other subjects, then please consider subscribing to this YouTube channel. Thank you very much for watching.